Hey Thanks. guys, cool blood way back. I'm Rick. Eric. I'm Aaron. I'm Kevin. Uh, we have returned with the promised Neverland. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Indeed, and last time we had a game of tag. We yep. did. An epic game of tag. Yeah, tag's great. It's fun. Which play tag? Krona won. Krona did win. Eventually. Well. <laughs> but she also <laughs> Uh well no, Norman Array beat her. Well, I mean, Emma she, did, she, right? Yeah. yeah, she beat Emma. Yeah, she I beat think. Emma. But yeah. Norman Array did emerge victorious at the yeah. end of it all. But did yeah. they? Or was it a test to know what they can do? See, and now yeah. she can defeat them. In this game of tag, you can win, right? But like, yeah. in normal, yeah. normal game of tag, you just you, you stop. What do you mean? Like, because this has, like, one person in, and they have to get everybody, as opposed to, like, an American game of tag, which is you're it, and now everybody, you know, yeah. and you can transfer and you being can transfer it. the it. And eventually you just give up, except for those one guys that they made that movie about. Okay. Yeah. It's great. I love it. I hate that movie. I hate that movie. I love the story. It's not a good movie. What? It wasn't good. It was so good. Did you see it? Yeah. Watch yeah. it all. Jeremy Renner broke his arms in that movie. Yeah, I know. Unfortunate that he yeah. ruined his arms great for movie. such a bad movie. Okay. <laughs> one woman. Uh, yeah, so we need to get all of these kids, including babies, over that wall with, I don't know how the hell they get over the wall. A mud under. under. What? Huh? Or under. They could go escape this. The wall probably go. I'm, I'm going to say. It's such a simple show, right now, a simple setting, but I love it. It's such an interesting story. I don't know, I love these characters, like, already. I knew that's what Emma would say. Like, of course we're going to bring them, you know? Yeah. I mean, even if they're looking out for themselves or not caring about the others, like... I thought she was going to go hard with it. <laughs> <sighs> it's consistent with Ray, too. He's been like, you know, we need to save ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Not worry about... Yeah, worry about the yeah. others. Because so he thinks like track two or three kids. Then when fifty? When do you think he turned? Did he turn whenever he realized they were going to try to take everybody? And he's like, "Well, that's obviously not going to work. So I'm going to go and make sure I definitely get." Yeah, I mean, it's going to stem on like why he's telling mom anything, mm -hmm. and is it more of like um, if I can weed out some people to be traitors, maybe we won't take them, and then we have a better chance of surviving. Yeah. But why Don? Or is it going to become a thing where it's like he was trying to double agent it so that he can be on the inside? Or is that how they're going to try to make it from now? Was that always his intent? You know? He also, he never saw anything, right? No. He didn't. He was the first one that was brought in. And he, yeah. went, he went and found them, though, when they were out looking at the wall trying to, like, hide and be yeah. crafty and stuff. I think it was after their argument about... We're going to bring everybody. He realized this isn't going to work, so I need to solidify my own survival. Yeah. And then he went to Mom. If it were just the three of them, his chances of survival yeah. would have been a lot higher. But as soon as he was pointing that other kid, you know, I was like, dude, the, the person that starts pointing fingers is the one that I'm going to start looking at first. And then when he said, like, so it's done, then, like, he was going to throw Don under the bus, you know? So yeah. I don't think there's any, like... He was saying... As of right now... Of everyone. Yeah. As of right now, I think it was with ill intent, but... With them still wanting to save him, he might. Maybe we get into this uh, double agent story. So, Triple agent. Yeah. I imagine that there's no. Uh, there's no way of disarming the the trackers. Then he was the one that's supposed to be working on that. Yeah. And if he is going, if he is a traitor, then I can't imagine that he's going to be like, oh, fix these things. Still going to go with the November eighth deadline, or were they just trying to? Maybe because they said they pushed it up, he went and told mom about the rope. As soon as possible, as opposed to like a week from now to get suspicion off him or something. Maybe. He also could have been a stooge from even before all this, because he was the only one that was suspicious as to what this place actually was. Mm. So it's possible maybe he found out the truth before any of them. It is. Maybe. I don't know. I wonder, like, obviously this isn't the first time they've done this kind of thing. I bet you these farms are, I bet you there's a lot of them. I bet you this has been going on for. Since Fire Nation, 2019 or whatever. Yeah. Um, it's probably 2020. Yeah, right. Things that, when things went bad, but I bet you there's some kind of like procedure put in place for this kind of thing. And then I, sorry, all this stuff was like, man, 2020 just really sucks. Can you imagine like by the end of the year we just got taken over by demons and fucking turned into farms. Well, things would surprise me at this point. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Maybe they maybe they often put in some kind of spy in each grouping or something. Yeah, maybe it's procedure. Like you guys did that with cows, right? Like you had like one spy cow. We did have a trader cow, but he was often found out, so we had to have like four backups like to all trader cow rotation. rotation. Cow. Yeah. I mean, there has to be a way they make moms, so maybe mm-hmm. that's the start of it. Maybe they're dads too. Yeah. Yeah, where are the dads at? We haven't seen any adult men yet, only adult women. So I yeah. wonder what their method is. Or well, no. can demons do something um, like too? The soldiers were men, right? What soldiers? At the truck. Those were demons. Yeah, those were demons. Were they, they were talking about eating the cats. Yeah, those were. Yeah, there were male voices, there were, there but when we saw them, they were demons. And mom. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, what if? I mean, maybe the demons create the mom somehow, or how, who makes the kids? Who's birthing these? Is it cloning? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like there was a thing from last episode when Mom was talking to Krona and was saying, like, uh, you can do this. I mean, you got all those great scores on your tests. And I thought that implied that she used to be in a place just like this. So maybe she was a traitor at one point and was awarded with and now trying to get up to the Mom thing. Maybe. Which is why I maybe think Maybe they that. keep the smartest and they give them the choice Jeez. Yeah, for self-survival. That way but they can all- be cultured and grown to... To then be moms. I mean, she's obviously crazy. We see the, the, the way that she's animating her. They're making the, her the scary eyes and stuff. stuff. It's always a scar. But I also had this element of, like... I, I mean, I she was she does not have a normal upbringing to be judged at, upon, you know, a she's certain dancing, scale, you know? I guess. Like, she's a broken, wounded child that became this. Maybe. I don't know what she's gone through. I, I, I don't, but... Like she could have been That's married. what I'm guessing. I'm assuming that. She I think it's a fair you assumption. Can, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like... I don't know the world outside of this. You know, true, you're I have right. no idea what's going on. She could have grown up in a mansion with, like, a silver spoon or whatever they say, you know? Yeah. And maybe she was just giving everything she wanted. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I have no idea. And she's a spoiled brat. It has a weird evil face that, that she does. And then the other the mom, like that, the other mom's just so creepy because she's so calm. I don't, like know, if, I don't know if that, that doll she has comes from, from a place of privilege. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know that. I, just think, I, have, I have no idea. Yeah. Maybe the outer world doesn't make dolls, and she made her own doll. But she ripped its head off. And then stomped on it until the stuffing came out. It was a much why it looks like that. She's done that so many times. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> She's failed Trying so to put it back together. <laughs> Emma's a much better person than I was. I, I just have this vindictive side of me. It's like, f- I'd be like, fuck Ray. You know, you betrayed us, but... She's probably right in terms of like, well, we're, you know, once we're gone... That deal probably they'll probably just get you know sell what they can. They're gonna betray him, you know. So yeah, it's probably the right thing to do. And I mean, the, they're more likely to escape with Ray if he is helping them than True. they are without. Just more yeah. information. Information is the key to this stuff. Well, and also just his abilities and stuff. You know, hmm. he's just he's almost another Norman. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I just love that Norman was thinking all those steps ahead. Because it's like, oh, he's doing, like, the Varus thing or uh, the uh, the Tyrion thing. You tell one person yeah. one thing and tell another person a completely different thing. And, and then you, you see where the information that. goes. But he was doing that, but not actually telling the others, you know, in order to entrap the next level, the next onion uh, level of that. So that was really cool. I like that. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, where do we go from here? Do you guys think that Ray is just on the outs and now he's, like, more of an antagonist? Or do you think they try to, like, bring him back into the fold? I think they're going to try and bring him back in. Yeah. The way it ended, they'll keep him in somehow. Yeah. Okay. They need someone to disarm the damn ear trackers. I don't know who else can do that. I don't know. You just cut your ear off. You, you can live without one ear. Can you? Yeah. What life. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes coming out every week right here. But if you want to see next week's episode right now, check out patreon.com slash blindwave where you can see early access available over there. Also check down in the description box where you can find links to twitch.tv slash blindwave where we have streams throughout the week that you can join in and podcast every Thursday at 3 p.m. Mm-hmm.